if a company has made a huge loss in a particular quarter or in a financial year it is quite legitimate or it is quite expected that once hello and namaste guys so i'm manish aurya and this is teacher to profit india's first youtube channel dedicated to your financial freedom on this channel i create new videos on 4th 14th and 24th of every month all these videos are generally connected to your finances how to manage your investments your insurances your investment in equities real estate etc basically i want you to understand one small snippet of the world of personal finance because 5 minutes of learning put together lapped up one over the other will end up becoming a lot of knowledge and information which you did not have earlier so just in case if you've discovered this channel for the first time please consider subscribing and watching the past videos because i've covered a lot of topics like budgeting insurances how to choose your mutual funds how to invest in equity all of it i make these videos in hindi and english both because most of my viewers are from the indian subcontinent and hindi and english gives me a scope to reach maximum number of audiences so just in case if you are watching this video in english but would like to see this video in hindi aap ye video hindi mein bhi dekh sakte hain i am extremely grateful to niranjan who is one of our loyal viewers who's asked us a question in the comment sections below the last video in fact was based out of niranjan's question and so is this video let me read out this question for you because it's a really interesting video and i'll explain it ahead niranjan asks Sir can you please explain about insider trading and its punishment in India and also can you discuss one or two popular insider trading cases which have taken place around the globe and one in India thank you niranjan for posting a question for the second time i would now like to explain to you what exactly is insider trading insider trading as the term suggests focuses on trading of shares or buying and selling of shares which is done by insiders of the company now why are these people called insiders because they would probably be people who are very close to the senior level management of the company maybe the c suite or the accounting or the finance team of the company or maybe the chartered accountants of the company or people working for the chartered accountants of the company what happens is these people are very closely associated with the strategic growth of the company the entire team of the chartered accountants of a company knows the balance sheet of the company inside out every public listed company is liable to record its numbers when i say record its numbers i mean they have to submit their balance sheets profit and loss accounts and all other financial statements to sebi which is the regulatory authority which manages trading of shares in india and registrar of companies or roc which is as the term suggests registrar or a department of government where all the financial balance sheets of companies and all the other strategic decisions that happen within the companies are recorded and registered so if every quarter numbers are being declared by the company and being recorded or submitted to these government organizations humans are the ones who are making these balance sheets chartered accountant company officials all the company officials who are very closely associated to the finance department who have all the information about sales or all the possible investment decisions that the company would have made in a particular quarter or in a particular year are known to this set of individuals and this set is called insiders in the past when shares were traded in physical format and when the information was not recorded on almost real time basis like today plus when sebi was not stringent about trading laws and rules all these group of insiders had a lot of time before creating these balance sheet numbers on quarterly basis and reporting them to the market or to sebi or to registrar of companies so what would happen is selectively a small group of these people would buy or sell large volume of shares of a particular company depending on the balance sheet which is going to be declared to the registrar of companies and sebi every quarter now just imagine this if a company has made a huge loss in a particular quarter or in a financial year it is quite legitimate or it is quite expected that once these numbers are declared by the sebi the shares of the company will fall because there will be some sort of a panic selling because nobody likes to see a drop in sale in any company now imagine if i am one of the insiders let's say if i am one of the people working in the chartered accountant firm of a particular company and i know that abc company's results this quarter are going to be bad and if i start dumping sale orders of shares of abc company when the share price actually drops i will make a huge profit through this transaction and my only reason to make this profit is because i had information about company abc which the public 
शेयर होल्डर्स डेंट इन द पास्ट मल्टीपल पीपल मेनी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन है लॉट ऑफ मनी बाय यूजिंग दिस इंफॉर्मेशन एंड इंडलजिंग इन टू इन साइडर ट्रेडिंग हाउ एवर द गुड न्यूज इज टूडे बिकॉज ऑफ आई टी टूडे बिकॉज ऑफ इंटरनेट टूडे बिकॉज ऑफ फ्लो ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशन बींग ऑलमोस्ट रियल टाइम चांसेस एंड instances of insider trading have reduced tremendously i'm not saying insider trading does not happen all what i'm saying is today reputed companies would not want to indulge in an activity of insider trading where they could make some money but lose out on a lot of reputation hence as an investor i would request you not to worry too much about insider trading that's probably one of the reasons why i am choosing not to talk about the past insider trading cases and the reason to do that is because most insider trading cases the huge ones at least were recorded when the systems of regulatory authorities wasn't tight enough or when the market was not mature enough or when the systems were weak and the trading used to happen in physical format today most of those problems have been eradicated and hence insider trading i'm sure in a couple of years is just going to be a term which will be known in the history books and it will not really exist in the markets niranjan i hope you've got the answer to your question i'm sorry i did not give you any instances of insider trading as you had mentioned in your comment but i have also stated the reason why having said that if you have any more questions and i'm not just talking to niranjan right now every viewer if you're watching this video and if you have any questions with regards to equity mutual funds from the world of insurance or anything to do with personal finance maybe even budgeting please feel free to send me the question on the comments below i promise i'll be reading all the comments and i'll be getting back to you as soon as i can if you've liked this video please make sure that you like the video and share it on all social media channels so that more and more people can get to know about paycheck to profit and the pay to pro clan can keep getting wider and wider so that's about it from me in today's video now i'll see you in the next video until then please keep smiling take care of your loved ones and stay happy kachin